The sunshine of the opening day's play may have been replaced by somewhat more damp conditions on Monday, but that didn't stop the crowds flocking in for day two of the Brisbane International. The torrential conditions meant play on court one was delayed, perhaps a brief respite for the remaining tournament seeds, having seen Jelena Jankovic and Andrea Pekovic bow out on day one. When play did eventually begin, it was Dominika Sibolkova that emerged, trying to avoid adding her name to the list of big-name first-round exits against American Madison Keys. A tough test against one of the WTA's brightest rising stars. And despite showing her class during an opening set dominated by serve, single break in Game 11 proved enough for the teenager to take the opening set. Zabolkova struggled to regain her composure following that stumble and Keys took full advantage, breaking the Slovakian world number 11 three times in the process. She'd seal the match in emphatic style to ensure half the tournament seeds have now failed to make it into round two. My biggest goals right now are to make the second week of a Grand Slam and um, at the end of the year to be ranked higher than I was this year. Angelique Kerber had no intention of following Sibolkova to an early exit during her match with Caroline Garcia. The French woman no match for the world number nine at her flowing best. It did take until game seven for the German to finally take the first of six break points in the set. That proved enough to cruise through the opener 6-4. Garcia failed to offer any more resistance in the second. This one of three breaks to put Kerber in total control. And although the world number 36 pulled a break back, it was never going to be enough to deny Kerber a place in the second round. I'm happy about my performance today and I think it was a good match also from uh, Caroline. So um, yeah, I'm happy to start the season like that. Evening may have descended on the Australian East Coast, but there was one more treat left for the Brisbane crowd. She may have made the final of last year's event, but repeating that feat would be a much sterner challenge for Victoria Azarenka following her return from a long injury layoff. Although she was showing few ill effects in the early stages against Karolina Pliskova, looking fit and confident as she took a tight opening set 6-4. The going got considerably tougher in the second. As Pliskova began to follow her rhythm. And after wasting a couple of match points, Azarenka was forced to play a draining, deciding set. As the Czech world number 23 took the tiebreaker. From there, it was always likely to be an uphill battle for a clearly fatigued Azarenka, especially with the quality of tennis being played by her opponent. Liskova taking the three-set victory in just under three hours and 15 minutes. Well, it's it's great feeling. I, I didn't believe that I can win this match after the first set because she was playing really well without almost any mistakes. So I'm really happy that I won this match. After receiving buys into round two, top seeds Maria Sharapova and Anna Ivanovic make their tournament bows on Tuesday. Both players looking to win the tournament for the first time.